After a week of looting, executions and forcing residents to convert to Islam at gunpoint, Syrian rebels are reportedly now fleeing the Christian village of Malula. Our correspondent there tells us that an ongoing army offensive has dislodged jihadists from many parts of town, but the fighting remains heavy. Ashiz Maria Finoshna reports now from the embattled village. So we are right now in the center of Malula village. Everywhere we can see signs of recent battle. We hear shelling, but we were told that this is the Syrian army. The mood is cheerful. Soldiers are smiling and relieved. The jihadists have been booted out. Some of them were killed. Some of them escaped. Locals joined the army to defend their native town. The soldiers in light-colored uniforms are the so-called national defense. The terrain here is very difficult with mountains and caves, but we know the area better, so we are carrying on with the operation. We come across one grocery shop owner who we filmed back in 2012. Then he told us that the armed rebels hasn't come to their village. And why would they? This time he's armed with a gun among Syrian soldiers, and he has some questions again. Syria is a land of history and of love. They sent terrorists here from all corners of the world to kill Syrians and each other. Why? I ask the world, why? If a European citizen is so much as slapped across the face, there'd be a scandal. While in Syria, how many victims? How many hundreds of thousands have been slaughtered? When will it stop? We quickly find out that it won't be today. Held by the militants for a week, it seems that Mountaintop Safir Hotel still poses a threat. That's Safir Hotel. Our goal was to liberate it and push on to Martahla Monastery. But we couldn't do it. Their snipers are everywhere. Ma'alula is home to many Christian churches and monasteries, as well as mosques. Everywhere we go here, we see either crosses or minarets. Now, added to these, we see black jihadist flags. It's time to head back. But while in the car, something goes wrong. We take cover in a place where we find dozens of army soldiers hiding from enemy's bullets. The main road is being targeted, and it is our only way out. We think over our chances when our engineer gets hit. Thankfully, it's not serious. But it becomes clear we can't wait a minute more. We're now stuck here in this corner and we're now trying to get out of here using this web. No, 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 no. If it had been anything, don't back. Don't back. Go. Okay, clear. Yalla. Did you hear the bullets? Did you hear them whizzing by? Now say that we've reached safe area. They are firing from behind this building. And we were told that this is the Syrian army again. That's how it is. It is true. So you guys, you guys stay. And we leave. While governmental forces continue their offensive on Ma'alula village, which, despite the claims, remains under siege. Marif Noshnati, reporting from Syria.